the sign is very important because it helps us determine the feasibility of the reaction. So plus 64.9 kilojoule per mole is the Gibbs free energy change. Now use your answer to 1 to explain whether or not this reaction is spontaneous at 298 Kelvin. So we know that for a reaction to be spontaneous or in other words feasible, delta G naught must be negative. But since delta G naught is positive in this case, the reaction is not spontaneous at 298 Kelvin because for it to be so spontaneous, delta G naught must be negative. But since, since it is not negative, it is positive over here, it is positive, the reaction is not spontaneous at 298 Kelvin. So this is the end of entropy and Gibbs free energy. It was a fairly small chapter and it has been recently introduced by recent I mean in 2016 into the Cambridge A level syllabus. So uh, keep practicing the questions. Uh, you can find past papers at gceguide.org. The link is in description and you can email me your doubts at alevelchemistryfree at gmail.com. So stay tuned for the next playlist.